All right, guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Snow It All back again. Uh, we're going to try and finish off this three star hospital challenge that's going on here now. So, before I jump back into it, what we've got going on is we've got to train two more staff and then promote six more staff, and then finally, we've got to get our staff morale up to 70%, right? So, everything kind of went a bit haywire <laughs> the last time round. Is I, like it wasn't the worst but it definitely got a bit out of control so what we're going to try and do i think going into this is we're going to throw in a couple more staff we can already see that we need some more doctors and some more nurses so we're going to throw some in straight away and then when they're in i'm going to just pick up some ones with a f bit of free space that's the main thing for the moment um close this out and um, we get another doctor boom boom and again we're looking for we're looking for reasonably cheap here now actually because we're just going to throw them in and get them trained as soon as this comes out so what have i got here i've got a junior doctor junior nurse a doctor and a senior assistant okay that's great so we should be in fairly good nick then um i'm not seeing anyone really be on the point of promotion i don't think are they um training required yeah not now we'll get around to you oh yes yeah, that promotion and again we're chucking max money at everyone to try and pull up that morale and um, once i get all of this what's that it's that promotion yeah chuck it up we're throwing all the money at this oh uh, i did not mean to do that i think i just sold something did i yeah i did uh items i need no this items here uh easy scan throw that in boom done uh trained okay right so now we're just on promotion and staff morale and that's actually going fairly okay because people are trained we've got money in the bank staff promotion chuck that in boom keep that coming along nicely um so we'll just try and keep we'll, we'll keep throwing money at it staff promotion yeah let's keep throwing money at them that'll keep putting up this morale, <laughs> morale so we just need two more promotions um and we should be good to go then i think that training is complete that training is complete um yeah we're not doing too badly we're not doing too too badly at all so uh, is this tra yeah, this training is complete isn't it okay good uh let us throw in another one there um how do i know if people are waiting on promotion i don't i don't think i can i think it just okay we got a, a student doctor that's good we got a janitor uh we got a junior doctor and we'll take a junior nurse and again we're going for the same we're going for emotional intelligence and paying for the trainer so we're only losing a few staff from every bit what have we got here come on come on come on open all we got raising star nurse of the year doctor of the year best teaching hospital that's nice most prestigious hospital patient's choice and employer of the year i'm just surprised by that considering we almost had people threatening to quit there or we had tre people threatening to quit recently enough so we're just going to try and keep this tipping over let's see how our finances are going overview um over oh, on we're on big money up there now the last while so we'll just try and keep things above water for the moment our reputation is great unreal so we're not oh we can upgrade the heart racer yeah there's a spare heart racer there chuck that in for an upgrade um and yeah we our doctors are struggling our doctors are struggling a lot i, I think if I, if I had the option i would set these up in such a way that like you'd come in here they dot you'd have your reception then you just have lines of like one line of gp clinics and one line of um general diagnostics and then every subset out would then just be like wards um like plenty of wards and pharmacies in one area so that like that's the main nursing buildings taken care of and then maybe i'd have the psychology would have its own thing because that just seems to be the one that everyone's going to at the moment um i try to branch it out so that i'd like have the entire left hand side be like nursing buildings and then on the right hand side be doctor buildings 
um, and then just have a mix in the middle where it's like the general diagnostics and the GP clinics because at the moment I just have free training slots that's great I don't care about the free training slots I'm wondering how am I supposed to deal with the amount of patients we have um, it is colossal have patients we have at the moment and there's just queues upon queues like every GP clinic has like three to three, four people waiting for it like I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do <laughs> um, mayoral visit okay grand yeah you can come along um, staff challenge I had no idea I tried to do that challenge before did not know what any of them meant so we'll just keep it driving on for a moment again like I don't want to put in more GP practices because I don't want to lose money um, I just want to keep this going so that I can get some staff up to promotion levels um, are a lot of my staff at the top level is that one of my problems patients and the staff yeah I have a lot of doctors up fairly high yeah. Um, well, like again, they're all kind of ready for promotion. Nurses, I have a lot of nurses. Up. Okay, perfect. This girl should be almost done soon. Assistance, yeah. Okay, grand. I should have an assistant and a nurse ready in a while, so that will be good. Whenever they get round to it, come on, lads. Or not. Uh, oh yeah sorry I can just speed up time I'm literally this is just a waiting game um, so it's not too bad I actually I didn't even need to do a separate part for this really oh can we follow the mural visit we can um, I mean like we've got half a million in the bank we're fairly in good and if we didn't even use the back left area staff promotion chuck that up boom pay all the money to them they're working hard we can upgrade the dehumidifier yeah I don't think we'll do that. Oh, we still made 40 grand profit. I'm, I'm surprised by this. I'm just throwing everyone's wages up and they're happy and we're still making a massive profit. Um, maybe maybe that's what companies need to do. Maybe they need to pay their staff more and they'll still make mad money. Who knows? Um, touring, touring, touring. That's grand. Visiting the staff room. Off you go. Oh, wait, no. Pharmacy emergency. Uh, four patients of misery guts. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. I, I don't know how busy my pharmacies are. I don't feel like they're overly busy, but they could be. No, there's not there's not many of personal pharmacies. I assume they'd be one of the busiest. The ward has had such a high turnaround. I feel, I'd say this must have been my biggest earner. Like, it was great building a big one to begin with. Um, I'm actually going to chuck in even in one more extra staff just because and staff promotion chuck it in promote there we go dear hospital administrator three star hospital congratulations your hospital has been awarded a three star rating by two point eight ministry on this venture you have demonstrated an ability to eat potential out of others uh blood from so many stones unreal we got 30 grand a 200 kudos i i haven't found a use for this yet i think you can buy different bits and pieces for your hospital but I just haven't looked into it um, so I'm just going to jump to opening the map there and we'll see what's going on because I think I unlocked a couple of places recently enough so I've, oh yeah I have three up here okay so I have a oh, career just collect a few of these cheeky I, I don't even know oh they give me points can I spend them here uh, I mean, maybe that's what you're doing in the game I might have a look at that next time around get a stair at Minton University and okay this is on this is still locked sorry so tumble treat all manner of breaks and bruises in this sub subterranean playground the country's sub subalpine <laughs> is that what it's supposed to be the country's home for hiking fishing and falling down okay and then home to the brightest minds of two point maybe Chile but it's also the perfect place to start developing some new technology oh i like new technology so what are we going to do i think i'm going to go for the new technology what what is what are those stars above it hospital age tears or oh, remix unlock plots by completing challenges okay 
no idea are those the career challenges that I'm supposed to do I'm not sure um I might go for the university first I think what I've gathered is that like when you get each star you unlock new technologies and bits that you carry over to every single game so if you only got one star you'd be making the next one more difficult so I'm hoping I get some nice good bits in the university even though it might be a little difficult to start and then we can use that down here and we'll probably unlock this yeah I have to do both of those to unlock this anyway so that's fine um yeah so look lads if you want to uh if you like this content or anything like that please drop a like please subscribe let me know how you think i'm getting on and i'll chat to you in the next one thank you very very much as always